Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Chanel and today we're gonna switch things up a bit and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my quick and easy 10 minute gum every day. So let's just dive right in. Already washed and cleansed my face and applied SPF off camera. But something that I always do, I always go in with the Laneige mask just to hydrate my lips, especially while I am doing my makeup. The last thing you want is dry lips. Actually got this one off Amazon if anyone is interested. Now I'm just gonna dive right in to doing my base and what I use for my base is these three concealers right here and I use this one as my highlighting concealer. I use this one as the one that is closest to my skin tone and I use this one as my contour shade and lately I have not been using foundation at all because these three gives me all the coverage that i need you're just gonna need to have some satin spray close by to keep it nice and dewy while you blend up my satin spray is holding on for their life literally so the first shade that i'm going in with is the lightest concealer shade that i have and this is the yellow corrector from la Goo. and i just apply this on the high points of my face where I know the light would reflect so here's the thing I ensure not to use too much of this because it is a yellow corrector Now I'm going to go in with the concealer in light tan and this is the one that I found was closer to my skin tone. I literally hold this far from me because it squirts all over. crazy person but it is a method to my madness I promise you so I'm going to go in with my contour shade in the shade toast so the only thing I don't like about these color girl concealers they the applicator is so horrible. contour and highlight my face like this is because I have an oval shaped face so I put the yellow concealer in the areas where I want the most light to reflect and I use the toast concealer to really define my features so normally at this point you'd blend it using your beauty blender but I find it easier to use these two brushes so to blend all over, I use this number 116 beige cosmetic brush. I know my brush is a bit dirty at the moment, but that's okay. <laughs> my 
contour i'm going to use the bh cosmetics angled contour brush in number 114 save my contour for last because i find it just softens up everything and pulls it together so nicely <music> minimal makeup vibe is less eyeshadow and to do that i use my Too Faced natural eyes palette and i basically i don't do any contouring and the creases or anything like that anymore i just use the shade nudie and i just use this really big it's a large eyeshadow brush all over my eyelids like that <music> Can you not, guys? That's literally my eyeshadow game these days. That's it. Now, for the good, good part the eyebrows. And I feel like the eyebrows is what pulls together any look. So, for my eyebrows, I'm just going to use my spoolie on my Benefit wand. And I'm brushing all the hairs upwards. Just like that. Simple and easy. For the pigment, I'm going to use my LA Girl Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. Since I got this one, it's definitely one of my new favorites. It's like it's beautiful with this product you literally just need like the slightest amount because it's so pigmented like i never thought i would like love la girl as much as i do look at that guys natural easy simple because i don't always do eyeliner we are not going to do eyeliner we just do mascara but before we do that we're gonna set our base i use this revlon compact in the shade natural tan and i just apply it all over my face after i'm done i last it right there close my skin tone gets the job done I tend to switch between this Clinique and the L'Oreal Double XN. This gives the beautiful illusion of lash extensions. Meanwhile, this just gives the classic brushed out lashes look. So I go in with this first. It's just like there, but barely there. 
now i'm going at my double x and i'm gonna just use step one and this is where you see the illusion of false lashes come in look at that and i only apply this to my top lashes alone And depends on my mood i just put as much coat and you can actually see the difference and this is just with one coat of the double leg stand compared to the clinique so now for the finishing touches of this look i'm gonna use my milani blush and my amrezy highlighter and this is literally the two products i go for on the daily <music> And now I'm going on my Amreezy highlighter on my high points. If there's one thing I don't skip on is my highlight daily. That is how I do my daily natural makeup, no makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button to join the family. Until next time.